Hello everyone, this is Lolly with a really quick tip about your cutting plates for your Sizzix Big Shot. You know, uh, warping ha has been a constant issue for many crafters. This is as warped as mine ever get, and I'll show you why. First of all, I switched to their magic mat on scrapbook.com. I use this a lot. I keep changing which side it is and it does really well. So now I only need one of the clear cutting plates. And when I use it, and I do switch back and forth, but when I use it, I do one of two things. Either I store it like this, with this right on the middle of that, and you want to look and see which way it's tending to warp. So I put it in with the, the highest part right in the middle, under here. It cannot warp any worse because it can't go anywhere. The other thing that I do on my table is I store my kettlebells right in the middle of it like that. This is a four pound kettlebell and again this can't warp any worse than it is because of that. Now what I do, I stack all of mine with the the wider ones at the bottom the smaller ones on top and then I will put about eight pounds on there and that's just how I store them normally you know if I know I'm gonna be die cutting again really soon I will store them on the machine like I showed you but normally this is what I do they like I said they cannot warp any worse with these weights on them there's nowhere for them to go this keeps them down and I have found that of all the tips and the tricks and the switching them one way or the other when you're cutting, I still always get them to warp a certain way. And this to me has been the best thing <laughs> to store them and to stop them from warping any worse than what they do. So I hope that helps and gives you some ideas and things you could try around your home.